I had such a stupid dream last night. I dreamt that I got a cat. And then, and then Dan thought it'd be fun to put the cat in the oven, not with the door closed, just like with the door open, just so it could like sit in there as a little house. Because we hardly ever use the oven. So he was like, I'm just going to put the cat in the oven. <laughs> I'm going to put the cat in the oven and just let it chill out. And that can be where it sleeps and stuff. So uh, my mum came over to the house and she was like, oh, I'm going to cook everyone dinner. And she put the oven on. And I was like, oh, the cat's in the oven. How long has it been on for? Oh, my God. Thankfully, the cat was fine as the oven hadn't been on for long. Uh, it was just slightly warm and a little bit freaked out. <laughs> so that happened and then the rest of the dream I was trying to move my laptop I picked it up by the screen and I smashed it I smashed the entire laptop screen and then I had loads of glass in my hands so I was just trying to get all this glass out of my hands but it wasn't hurting I was just more stressed that I'd have to get my screen repaired that's another reason why we shouldn't ever own a pet because we'll accidentally put it in the oven. When we were doing the pilot for the first radio show, we had to deliver it as a video file because they were like, you need to make a video like showing how to radio, like what you're gonna be like, what you're gonna do and stuff like that. So we made a video at our house and at the radio studio and we had to edit it all together. It had a music video in, it had loads of stuff in. And we spent the entire night just trying to edit this thing together for the deadline. And then the next morning, we had to go deliver it to Radio 1. So I think that was about 28 hours of no sleep. I think I arrived and I just looked absolutely terrible. I was like, here's the thing. I hope you like it. But we got a show, so I think they liked it, which made it worth it.